Yes, he sure is, Alex. Uh, you just many congratulations. Second win of your career, bought for your boss, uh, Johnny Marta. The first coming at the final day of the turf season, of course, in a very high-profile Premier Nursery, the bird catcher on Wave Machine. Yeah, Kevin, um, since the first winner now, yeah, things are going well. Johnny giving me plenty of opportunities and uh, very good now just to get the winner today. And, uh, yeah. What were you expecting coming here today? Lake Illawarra, both the at and stable companion Malacan. There was only a quarter of a length separating them the last time they met here in Handicap Company, their final run, final meeting here before Christmas. Yeah, uh, they be, they've both been going well at home, Kevin, and uh, today coming in, Johnny said, look, both of them have their chances, and uh, just followed the instructions Johnny said to me, and it paid off. And they went a right good gallop up the front end as well. It was always going, to, they couldn't keep going the gallop, they went up in the front. So you sat in a perfect position, what, mid-div? Yeah, mid I, I was just behind, uh, let's say, fourth uh, off the one, uh, one of the rails. So kind of suited me, the gallop they were going, you know, I just sat back, let the feel heavy breather, and then come into the straight then she picked up nicely and uh, fought off to, to the end well. And the visors helped her as well? Yeah, the visors helped her a lot, you know. She's kind of green filly, and uh, she's only, what, fifth, sixth run, and uh, so she needed that, and... Uh, uh, hopefully she'll come on well from that run now. Good stuff. And you just had furlong pole, it looked like you're in all sorts of trouble. Uh, she's by Australia, that stamina in the final furlong really came to the fore. Yeah, yeah, it, it all came to the fore. She stayed on well, like I said, she picked up and then I just was worried for a bit there and I looked over, I see Daniel on, that, that on, on my left and then I just hoped that she kept going and she did. She gave you good blood? Yeah, <laughs> she did give me a good blood. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, that's always about uh, friends, you know, just get more rides, get more practice and, uh, and get better. And She looks like a filly, the further she goes, the better she be for her to win over seven furlongs. You think going a mile, mile and a quarter in time, she could be better. Yeah, it might, it might suit her better than anything, you know. You know girl give her a time to get a breathing into the race and then picked on and then I keep, we said, yeah, she finished up well, the stamina played in, so hopefully I might step up there, I might now, well, I'll leave that to Johnny to decide, but <laughs> I'm not the man to, but... And you, this, we just had to see a lovely clip of you, of course, that was put together by Equip, of course, Equip, uh, the uh, Education and Welfare Department and HRI as well, and it's just trying to uh, showcase and educate people that there's so many different uh, careers in the racing and breeding industry as well, and it just shows the diversity as well here in Irish racing. Yeah, Equip, uh, uh, Heater, and uh, she reached out to me to do a clip on me to show the diversity in racing, the opportunities you can get. And I think Equip, that's, it's all about to give other people opportunities and show chances that uh, or the jobs they can get to Irish racing. So it's a great, it's a great uh, invention that they had uh, in the HRI. So uh, I'd say uh, Equip is very good now. So like, like, like I said, they did the, uh, the clip about me to show where I came from and how I got on into racing and where I am today. So that hopefully inspire many people and then they give other people chances as well to do the same as me. And it just shows it can be done. You don't have to come from a racing background. Your boss Johnny Morta is prime example of that. He didn't come from a racing background. He achieved everything you could do, the multiple champion on the flat as a jockey and now what he's achieving as a trainer is phenomenal just off the back of a personal best season last year. Yeah, that's it. Like, like for Johnny himself, he didn't come from a racing background and, and he got the opportunities and, and, and he, I don't think he got it as easy as it is now. Like I said, Equip is came on to make that easier for the people you know just to make get them into racing and show them the opportunities that they can get and where they can go so uh, i think it's a great it's a great thing and also as well, it, it tries to educate you as well. You've great access to the likes of accountants and health advisors and so on and so forth. Because it's all about when you're starting off as well to try and get your accounts in order and just have a bit of help to, to guide you for the first few years of your career. Yeah, that's it. It's all kind of based to set for you over there and, and kind of let you go on then, you know, get, get you educated uh, early on and, 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 and kind of get you on the right way to, 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 um, to, yeah, to go on your career or whatever you choose to do in the racing. And yeah, so. And you just on that, uh, you talk about Johnny Burton, we'll speak about him in a minute, but Dick Bravison, well known to Coral Course, is a pre trainer, he trains a couple of horses, a select a couple of horses every year. He was a big help to you as well. Yeah, he was a big help to me. You see, when I first, first came to Ireland, I went to him and uh, never sat on a racehorse before, and all he had was yearlings, you know, and uh, he <laughs> see me yeah, he see me coming in, he goes, he was a bit worried, but and uh, see, he taught him and his staff there when I first started, taught me a lot. Like I said, my first language is not English, and I've taught everything I learned. It was in French, so I came. I came to Dix, and I didn't know a thing. I like, don't know why Lidrop was, you know. So, uh, uh, so he had great patience with me, and I was with him for two years before he sent me to Johnny's. So, mm. Dick has been a 
massive, my, like, he's been massive in my career, so where I am now, so I'm very thankful for him. And Dick obviously gave a lot of thought to where he should go, and Johnny, as yeah. we're talking about, you know, he's been there, he's done that, but he takes a lot of interest in his young riders. I'm yeah. sure he's a big asset for you to have, he teaches a lot, and I'm sure tomorrow morning you'll be home going through the replays with him. Yeah, Johnny, like, Johnny has been a massive factor to where I am now, you know, without him, I wouldn't be here, like I said before, but uh, it's been a massive factor teaching me everything, even the riding work at home, and then even now, but say if I wrote a winner, I still find the thing I did wrong and then like, go through it yes. to learn from and that's it. Like I'm very thankful for that, you know, you can't can't have any better master than Johnny. How is he looking at the minute? He's got a beard on. Like no, no, he's he's been looking well now, so he's a good. To, he's <laughs> he a good looked well the last time we met him up here, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's he's, he's in. Yeah. <laughs> no, this time of year he can look. Yeah. We don't recognise him when he comes up, do we? No, no, he's in good form now, so hopefully. And how's the team? How's the two rows? How's the Johnny? Uh, team? The Johnny Murphy team is looking well. You know, got a few yearlings in there from the Aga, and then Johnny's is the yearling, mm. so we are going through, and then. Uh, Hopefully we have a good season. And you must be looking on with it all and interest to how Jamie Powell, Ben Corner getting on down in Australia, something like that in the future might be good for you as well. Yeah, something like that might be good. You know, I've been talking to Jamie and he'd be ringing me saying how he's getting on and how he's good over there. And, uh, and you know, I'm here writing out your links in the cold winter. So, uh, but uh, hopefully, um, that'd be something I'll look into in the future and help me a lot. And to get back long term someday to ride in Rishis, I'm sure that'd be lovely to just have a ride in your home track. Your home I love, track. yeah, yeah, I love to it's go sharp back. Track well, it yeah, it's a very sharp track, so uh, hopefully in the coming, in the years coming, I can go back and ride, right over it's there. It's a big sport there in its own right. It is, it is a very big sport, you know, like I said, small population, you know, every side, there's racing every Saturday, so every Saturday everyone will be watching racing, you know, mm. it's just the people who made the racing there, you know, so um, hopefully I can go back and ride, hopefully I win it there as well. And they must be very proud of you over there as well, they're obviously following you as, uh, quite closely. Yeah, yeah, some people I don't even know, like <laughs> even in Ireland, other people from Mauritius be testing me and saying, well, long, proud to see another Mauritian doing things like like, so... Hopefully, I can follow the footstep of Kyra Steeton, who's in Hong Kong, who's been doing well. So that's my main goal now, and that's it. Good stuff. Have you set yourself any targets for the season ahead? Obviously, it's a very exciting time, uh, especially in the yard. Johnny's in the morning now. The two-year-olds are starting to step up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think Kevin is the agent now. So <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully he can do a good job for me, get me a few rides in the when the season starts, and. Um, like I said, my main goal is to lose my £10 claim, which is looking better now, but uh, hopefully get more few, few more winners in and get my name out there. And, uh yeah, and, and, that, and that's it. With more riding, even a few rides you've had, do you feel your rhythm, your pace, your everything is? Coming? Yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel it's coming together. You know, like Johnny said to me, it takes at least 15 rides to get to you know the pace, to know where you're going, where you're sitting, who you're following, and all. But and uh, now I feel like it's coming together, and uh, I feel every time I'm pushing a horse out there, I feel myself getting much better myself, and uh, you feel more comfortable in the horse as well. You balance and to balance the horse as well. Fran, it took you a while after riding your first winner. It took you quite a while to ride your second winner, didn't it? Uh, 11 months, yes, yeah. It took a while and uh, it was a bit frustrating, but probably in the long run. Not a bad thing, you got plenty of experience and, uh, you know, just to get a winter, another summer, getting to know the grass tracks, all that goes with that, it's also a big help. It's all about having a bit of patience, isn't it? Very much so, yes. And uh, I think he's with the right man there for that and uh, he keep the Yiddish ground and teach you plenty and... Uh, no, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of an analysis tomorrow off Johnny yeah, as well. Yeah, there'll be loads of analysis tomorrow, so, um, yeah, uh, like I said, can't be a way better man and I won't complain about that, so that's it. First off, well, Yudish, many congratulations and hopefully we're going to be speaking to you plenty going forward on Racing TV. Many congratulations and uh, you, uh, you come across extremely well. Well done and onwards and upwards. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thanks very much. Well done.